I'll finally know the fate of what is going to be happening to the GTA 6 hacker and leaker. We're going to be talking oh, about all of that in this video today and a whole lot more. Hey, what? Hey, yo, no way. That's the leaker? That's a hacker? Big update I was able to give you guys was 18-year-old Arian Kurtash was found guilty by a United Kingdom jury in August, but this- Yo, this is Hasbullah, bruh! No way! This is- this is Hasbullah. Guys, come on, man. Come on, this- this gotta be Hasbullah. Like the video feed looks like him. Sentencing had been delayed until December, and that happened just the other day. So where we last left off after a seven week- My guy be winking! He winks and he leaked the entire Lucia Porna. Bumbocat. And when he was put in front of the judge, uh, the judge, uh, 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 he says that he's gonna be leaking more. And even the BBC talked about it. And I'm not talking about like the, the the friendly UAV online, the the BBC from Call of Duty, the BBC bundles. Not talking about that. The actual BBC, the British Broadcasting Channel. Okay? Leak trial. Arian Kurtaj was accused of hacking and blackmailing companies such as Rockstar Man. Games, Uber, and Nvidia. And the reports Bruh. from the trial revealed that the teen from Oxford hacked Rockstar Games and caused the GTA 6 leaks from a hotel room while he was on bail for other hacking charges in 2022. When the police searched his hotel room of where the hack took place, they found he had broken his bail conditions, and it was determined that the Rockstar Games hack was carried out using a recently acquired phone, a keyboard, a mouse, and an Amazon Fire Stick. And his total list of charges came to 12, three lots of blackmail, two charges of fraud, plus six counts under the Computer Damn. Misuse Act in the United Kingdom. Now we also got- Bro, so, okay, listen, okay, time out, time out. Emergency meeting real quick, okay? Emergency meeting. Stat muffins, right, right, we gotta run, okay? So what people got to see the Lucia Burda, bruh? So what people got to see the gameplay? Does it actually warrant a lifetime in prison? Uh, okay, maybe like five years, 10 years, 15 years, but a lifetime, a life sentence, that is absolute insanity though. Uh, and I do agree that the, the, the hacker's kind of dumb too, right? Like he's intelligent, I agree, but he's like retweet, right? To the point where when he's asked, because bro could have said, blood could have said, I'm not gonna leak it, let me be free. And he could have chose to leak and hack like later on. I'm not saying he should, I'm not like, uh, you know, giving him like, yeah, you should or not. But, 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 but you feel what I'm saying, right? He could have said that, bro could have, could have said that, I'm not gonna leak it, and they would have let his ass free. The positive point from this is that at least he was honest. You know what I'm saying? Maybe for that, y'all <laughs> At least he was honest. I mean, like the video, if you because he was honest, he basically told them he's gonna he's gonna hack again. So I, I think they sh they should let this sucker go because he was honest. Bruh. More details on what happened with the hack. According to the trial, Kurtage messaged every Rockstar Games employee via their internal Slack communication system, saying, "I am not a Rockstar employee. I am an attacker. If Rockstar does not contact me within 24 hours, <laughs> I will start releasing the source code." Which of course prompted Rockstar Games to respond by saying, "A message from Rockstar yeah. Games." Games. We recently suffered a network intrusion in which an unauthorized- Yo, bro could have blend in even more by saying that I'm a Rockstar employee and uh, you know what? Uh, we, we, were, we were working on them trees, right? We were working on all that get and all the bonus stuff. Like, I, I need another sample, man, because I feel like that I can just uh, add one or two more extra pixels, like one or two more line of code, and it's gonna look very, very realistic. Maybe I wanna throw some water, just like how these mod makers for GTA 5, they bring, like, the entire Pacific Ocean on them streets and, <laughs> and bring all that water on the streets. He could have said some similar. He could have done some, some, something similar. He could have blend in a little longer, but his ass needed to speak the truth, and his ass needed to say okay well i'm a hacker bro i'm a hacker bro give me money bro authorized third party illegally accessed and downloaded confidential information from our systems including early development footage for the next grand theft auto at this oh, time we do not anticipate any disruption to our live game services nor any long-term effect on the development of our ongoing projects we're extremely disappointed to have any details of our next game shared with you all in this way our work on the next grand theft auto game will continue as planned and we remain as committed as ever to delivering okay. an experience to you our players that truly yeah. exceed your expectations nice. we will update everyone again soon and of course we'll properly introduce you to this next game when it is ready we want to thank everyone for their honor i mean to be honest they did properly they they did they did they they, they, they kind of did properly <laughs> they properly did introduce us with that gta 6 like look at look at all that like 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 look at that look at that look at this like look at all of that i mean look at all that get 
they did properly introduce Kurtage will stay in a secure hospital for the rest of his life unless Crazy, doctors man. deem him no longer a danger so this is essentially a life sentence he's not going to be free he's not going to be able to return to his normal everyday life he man. is going to be sentenced to an indefinite hospital order and the reason for do you think he deserve it one if deserved two if not deserve I, the only thing is that bro could have said that he's not gonna hack and they were probably gonna let him go but he chose to not and now they're keeping keeping him for a lifetime I, I think that's actually wild but i understand is what i'm trying to say i understand why they're doing it but, but still kind of wild though. or this order and why the judge gave out this punishment is due to kurtaj okay, still let's talk about the gtsx trailer too being bro. a high risk to the public through his skills and motivations as he reportedly told psychiatrists that he would not stop so honestly Dang. that's kind of the nail in the coffin there if you tell a doctor or a psychiatrist hey when i get out of here i'm going to continue to hack i'm going to continue to do things like i did to but, bro le, le doctor like le doctor the, the dog you knew you knew he is not mentally fit you could have said that yeah bro is telling me this but uh, bro is not mentally fit so uh, he, uh, he probably just making things up you could have said and you could have let this that kid that child has bullet clone be free bro like hashtag Hashtag free Hasbulla, bro. Hashtag free Hasbulla, bro. Uber and Rockstar and NVIDIA, that's probably not going to get you out anytime soon. And on top of that, it has been said that the teen had been violent many times while in police custody, and there had been injuries made and damages to oh, property, damn. according to the BBC. So honestly, this guy's... Damn. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! I'm not sure if I believe it, though. I, okay, conspiracy time, everybody. Conspiracy time. Do you think... Do you... Oh, let me do this. Do, do you think they are trying to keep bro locked up and chained up because he can hack NASA and reveal the alien secret? Do you think that's the reason? Do you think that's the reason? Or do you think they just uh, are, 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 or do you think they're speaking the truth? Because I don't think they're speaking the truth right now. I don't think they're speaking the truth. I think there's some 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 wrong with it, some deeper uh, meaning with this one. It sounds they don't like an absolute disaster. Out. I hope that he's able to get the help he needs, and one day he can return to normal society. <laughs> but it doesn't feel like now is the time, nor does any time in the near future seem like it's going. Society don't need me. Listen, man. <sighs> Where is the money heist boss when you need him? Where is the money? I forgot his name though. Like I love money heist though. You know the the professor, the professor. Where is professor? The professor gotta hire him, and the professor gotta free him. Only professor can free him. Right going now, to be bro. the case. Now Only another professor. factor was also revealed in December session. The court had heard how Kurtaj had quote continued to express the intent to return to cybercrime as soon as possible, and that he is highly motivated. And during Damn. a court session in early December, we learned how Kurtaj would commit crimes again once free, according to the day. Daily Mail from Dr. Claudia Camden-Smith, who actually assessed Kurtaj. She was asked by a prosecutor if he was highly motivated to return to offending, and the doctor said, that is what he told me the last time I saw him. And how did everything wrap up? Well, Mr. Kurtaj did not stand trial due to being deemed unfit to do so by psychiatrics, and the judge, Patricia Lee, postponed the sentencing until just the other day, and the judge also had Mr. Kurtaj detained under the Mental Health Act, as she believed he was suffering from a mental illness. Damn. So that is what happened. Okay, the like, John Honestly, jokes aside and sarcasm aside, obviously we have been joking around for a lot of stuff here. Jokes aside, I think the judge in a way did the right thing. I, I still believe that lifetime is insane. That's insanity. That's not justified. But I think she did a right thing in a way where because he's still super young, right? So they're gonna keep it. If this is to be believed, if this I got I have to stress this. If this is to be believed, if this is really true. The fact that they're keeping him in hospital at least that young, at that young of an age, maybe one day a proper treatment is provided and he is also willing. At the end of the day, it's all about him willing to, right? If he cooperates and treatment, proper treatment is provided, then maybe he can really come out healthy and he can really come out fit, mentally fit. Uh, at the end of the day, maybe like five, uh, three years from now. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, how long these pro processes like take. But uh, you feel what I'm saying? If this is to be believed, what if they really locked him up and Rockstar was like, nah, bro, you leave GTSX, you're going to rot in hell for a lifetime. 
if that's hopefully that's not the case the main man of the story arian kurtage now he was not alone there was kind of a batman and robin situation here there was a 17 year old accomplice who since he is technically a minor cannot be named in any of this well that individual was sentenced to an 18 month long youth rehabilitation order including mm. intense supervision and a ban on using vpns for life so honestly <laughs> that sounds like it <laughs> uh, okay so what kind of vpn uh we need to use vpn because i'm i'm pretty sure th that sucker or was it a was it a chick or a boy I, I i'm not sure i think it was a chick right see that chick or boy is gonna be let go in 18 months but this sucker, this twat had to say i'm gonna hack more so now they're keeping him locked up for life but banned from vpn from using vpn Hey man, let me use a VPN so I can use a VPN. You know, so that's he probably gonna post something like it that. It is a much more lenient sentence. I don't know enough about this, but I can only assume it's because he is 17 and not the legal age of an adult. But Damn. it looks like he might be able to return to normal life a lot sooner than Arian Kurtage will be able to. And as well as oh, having wow. the hacking offenses, the 17-year-old was also sentenced for what the judge described as unpleasant and frightening pattern of stalking and harassment of two young women. So whatever punishment Damn. both of these guys get, I Bruh. honestly think they deserve here and the timing of this trial was what oh shit what you as well it's a child it's a kid that just leaked the lucia burna bruh he just leaked the gameplay so what people got to see the gameplay man he don't deserve to be lifetime yeah five years ten years i get it okay <laughs> i get it <laughs> I get it, but man, lifetime, that's insane because, and I'm making the comparison, this is why I'm saying insane, because there are actual people that kill people and they don't even do that long. There are people that, that rob banks that don't even do that that long, you know what I mean? Damn, that is that is insane, and obviously I can bring this example which I brought in my last video, I, I, I do agree with Jay. Uh, rarely he gets life when people that purchase and played with uh, in that island I cannot say these words on YouTube you can pause and read you feel what I'm saying they get nothing but this kid just because he lead gameplay uh, I, I know it's deeper than that but but very yeah. interesting because it actually came just days after the official GTA 6 trailer came out and now has over hundred and fifty million views on YouTube alone Crazy, and that just Holy. includes Rockstar games official upload there's millions of other channels that have uploaded the trailer so it's probably been seen by I would argue probably close to a billion people by now when it's all said and done and in nah, I don't think billion I would be it would be more realistic if you say 500 million because you gotta factor in right like uh, were they unique uh viewers unique people or it's just that because like i've seen so many gta 6 videos right so i'm like one guy but watch hundreds of videos so that's like e that equals to hundreds of views right and i know a lot of you fellas also watch hundreds of videos of gta 6 so i don't think those are unique people but but i, I understand the sentiment by the end i think it would be closer to a billion I interestingly guess. enough kurtage's defense team tried to argue that the success of the game's trailer indicated that kurtage's Kurt i would what? argue probably close to a billion people by now what? when it's all said and done and interestingly enough kurtage's defense team tried to argue that the success of the game's trailer indicated that kurtage's hack had not caused serious harm to the game developer and asked that this be factored into the sentencing. Now, interestingly enough, Rockstar Games did actually respond to this and they gave some details on how this has impacted them. So according oh, to the BBC, Rockstar Games actually explained to the court how the break-in cost them $5 million in recovery and thousands of hours of staff time. And I can only imagine- Bro, y'all think it's gonna make 5 million within five minutes, bro. Bruh. By selling the GTA Plus, by selling shark cards, you're gonna make that much in five minutes, bro. Hey, yo, can I really get two pennies? And those gameplay leaks are in this video. Click on this video on the screen because we're hearing that GTA 6 is gonna be coming out by the end of 2025. And I think this trailer number two tease from Rockstar makes a lot of a lot more sense now. Sad, sad.